Hello and welcome to Alumni Stadium here as we are ready for Varsity Lacrosse, Braintree and Needham. And Needham with possession here to start in the opening second of the game. Mike Wasson bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV. Needham was late to arrive here, a few minutes late on the start, but things got underway quickly as the opening shot hits the crossbar and rings out and goes out of bounds where Needham will continue to have possession here in the opening quarter. 12 minute quarters, four of them, as the shot goes wide. May have been deflected by Braintree on the way through. So the Rockets will have it back behind the Braintree goal. So Needham has possessed here for the first minute of the game. And looking for the third shot, Braintree with some Pretty good defense, but Needham able to capitalize in front and score the game's first goal. So the opening score coming here as the Rockets take first blood. We'll have a face off at midfield. On the opening draw, good battle here. Braintree really no help there. There's three Needham players helping out on the cause and Braintree had to have a disadvantage on a three on one. As Cody was out there taking the face off for Braintree. So Needham now will possess again with a one nothing lead and the ball with 10.20 to go here in the first quarter. Braintree with a opening win in their home opener last Thursday. A 4-2 win over Pembroke. It was a very low scoring game as you could tell by the final score, but it was just one nothing at halftime. So things obviously opened up in the second half as the shot again hits the outside of the post and goes out of bounds, but it still will maintain possession with Needham who has continued to have the ball just about the entire first quarter. Braintree has to be careful here not to cheat out and take a gamble here. Obviously you're full strength so everybody should be marked up here as the shot is in and a penalty coming after the score. A flag thrown on Braintree for I assume some sort of an illegal contact shot up towards the head. And Dom Dionisio getting a foul and he'll take some time in the box. 9.29 to go, Branch will be a player down. So it looks like Gaffney will get the start here today for Braintree in goal. I don't see a replacement goalie down there but generally most teams have two. Some Rangers already found themselves down two and now is shorthanded. Win picking up here at Braintree High School. As always, that little wind from the lake. Nine minutes to go here in the first quarter. Two nothing, Needham with the lead. And the shot and the goal up and just underneath the crossbar. as they make quick work of the man advantage. And this may be a long one here today for Braintree if they don't start getting their feet underneath themselves. They haven't had possession. The offense hasn't had a chance. The defense has been out there battling the entire time and Gaffney's been under siege. She's made one save and has also seen two shots hit the post. And again, Needham controls the draw. They work it up the field. Ball on the ground, Braintree trying to scoop it up. Trying to make that play for Braintree. 
Perhaps they had 22 listed here on the rosters. The shot was just wide. And Braintree fighting for possession to try and get first to the ball, but Needham beats him to the boundary. Eight fifteen left here in the first quarter. Three nothing lead for Needham. They have the ball. Beautiful passing in front, and that one somehow stays out. Must have hit somebody on the way through, as Gaffney never saw that. As Needham makes a substitution on the fly, and the ball handed backwards. Back behind the net. Needham now running a set play. The pass in front and the backhanded shot finds the back of the net. As the Rockets have scored the first four goals here of the game with 7.35 to go in the first quarter. High powered octane offense here for Needham and Brentry just needs the ball. Can't score if you don't have it. Someone really needs to help here on these draws to help the cause. They need them now on the last few, have a second and even a third player jumping in there to try and get possession away as they win the ball again. Branchy with a different player taking the face off that time. That was Deary, number 23 on the roster of junior. 7.15 remaining here in the opening quarter. As the shot is taken and stopped. And a big hit from Morahan, a Braintree senior. Across a very physical sport. They allow checking as the shot again catches iron. That's the third one we have seen hit the post here in this first quarter. Obviously a goalie's best friend as Braintree fires this one all the way down. He was looking for the shot on goal and nearly actually scored. I don't know if the goalie can actually score from there. He has to make a pass beforehand, but that almost went in. As the shot taken goes wide. Switch on a give and go with six minutes to go here in the first quarter. A little ground ball handed back as Needham keeps the attack on. Backing off on the offensive rush. The Rockets taking their time here in the attacking end. Sprenchy tries to keep everything on the perimeter. They don't want to lose the spacing in the middle of the field. As that one deflects right out in front, but Braintree is able to get back defensively, closing the gap. 525 as Needham has had the ball for the last minute. They work it around the outside. Right around the perimeter. As the shot is taken and it goes well wide, referees had to be careful that they didn't get hit by that one. Needham went inside the crease. That'll give away possession. Branch will get the ball back. That's a rare mistake. And obviously that would drive a coach crazy, even with a 4-0 lead. And those are the little things that certainly can earn you some time on the bench. It's not a call I've seen very often in the years announcing here. Some lacrosse and these officials seem more like veteran officials. You get a variety of officials at this level. 
some really well balanced, probably lacrosse players at their some point in their life, and it certainly shows the knowledge of the game. It's nice to get the really knowledgeable officials. Just like any game, though, there's always going to be disagreements with calls as Branchu with a nice pass. The shot and a save is made as Branchu with their first shot on goal, which was denied on the opportunity right from the goalie, Gaffney, who made the pass up the field. And the shot released by Dionisio. Good slow down there by the Braintree defense. 3.20 left here in the opening quarter. Needham had four quick goals in the opening minutes, but Braintree's defense has buckled in a bit. Trying for a wraparound. Shot taken and a stick save made. So Gaffney starting to find his rhythm. Braintree works it towards midfield. Looking for somebody to pass it to, and that was a dangerous pass into pressure. Trying to force feed that pass to Pachillo, and that one was intercepted. So after Braintree made a nice defensive play, they have a turnover on the other side. With 2.40 to go in a quick moving first quarter. Braintree with the only penalty against for a hit to the head after a Needham goal. And then the Rockets capitalized very quickly thereafter. At the side of the cage, they score. A 5-0 advantage for the visitors. Cody going in to take the face off with Brooks out there as well. Braintree has gone to the bench a couple times. Trying to find an answer here on these face-offs. Needham has won each of the first five draws now. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. And the shot is wide. Looking short side. Couple quick passes as they look for the cutting play right in front of the crease and that pass does not connect, Branchu will get the ball back on the Aaron pass. Either way, Branchu was first to the ball, so it wouldn't have mattered. Final 90 seconds here of the opening quarter as Branchu trying to get on the scoreboard before the end of this first. Long pass up the field and that's gonna be a tough one to run down as Gaffney continues to try and fire the ball to his attackers, but Probably be better if Braintree took a little bit more time working it up the field. You can walk it up if you're the goalie. And find one of your defensemen. Up the field it goes in the final minute. There is no shot clock, so need them if they want, could hold for the final 50 seconds and head into the second quarter. With a potential five or six nothing lead, depending on how things shake out here. Side of the goal, quick pass. I don't think the intended target was ready for it. And now a half minute remaining. Shot taken. Gaffney is able to keep that one out. Twenty seconds left here in the opening quarter. Braintree able to tiptoe along that sideline and then losing possession. Good battle though from Brooks who forces the ball back. 
Here in the final five seconds as Needham attacks. A low shot in. Gaffney reads that one well. And that'll end the quarter as he hucks it down the field. And that'll do it for the first quarter. So not a great first 12 for the home team here at Braintree. But Needham obviously a very strong team and obviously one of the top teams in the state. Braintree after the first few minutes had battled pretty evenly with them. Even though the Rockets have that 5 nothing lead. But one man advantage goal. 5 nothing the score after 12. And we'll see what Braintree can do in the second quarter. After a quick break here on BCAM TV. You might feel like there's too many problems in the world or that you know you as a 15 year old 16 year old can't really make a difference it's not always about you it's not just one person it's it's a group it's a team if we all show up together that's what it's all about i was a part of helping to build what it is today i'm really lucky to get to be a part of that legacy just that simple act that takes you know five or ten minutes of your time is making a difference and is transforming someone else's life. Once you get there and realize how much you can change someone's life, it's one of the best feelings in the world. I'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this. You guys keep doing what you're doing, it's something special. Get up and try something, just try it. Just go, just go to one event, one action team event. It'll just make you feel so good about yourself. Welcome back to Alumni Stadium, getting ready for the start of the second quarter. Thank you for watching here, our live stream broadcast on BCAM TV. Mike Wasser bringing the coverage, 5-0 the score. Needham with the lead and the opening face-off at midfield. And the Rockets, right off the draw, able to gain possession. Braintree, nice job fighting for the ball, though. A couple of players getting sticks on it. And the Rockets again will start with possession here to begin the second quarter. A couple of nice saves at the end of that first quarter by Braintree. Again, just one penalty in the opening quarter against Braintree, which Needham was able to score on. It's not very uncommon to see lots of penalties in this sport. As that one up around the face, and a save is made by Gaffney as Braintree runs for that ball. And again, not able to get it. That was Drew Cody trying to get that ball for Braintree. Defense will be tested again. Murphy yelling out some instructions from his defensive spot as well as Morahan, and the shot goes wide, and Branchu will get the ball. So we'll see if Branchu can do a better job controlling the ball. That takes a big hop on the turf field, and Needham is able to gain possession from it. And overrun by Brooks. A little two on two as the Braintree defense is able to slow it down. Jacob Murphy, the senior, slows down what could have been a two on two right at the net. Passing and a save is made again by Gaffney, who's really started to find his rhythm as he fires the ball again way down the field looking for somebody. It finds a Braintree jersey there. It's powers, but didn't pick it up quick enough and couldn't track it down before it went out of bounds. The Braintree attackers really haven't been in sync here early. They only scored four goals in the win over Pembroke and so far being shut out, but they're not helping out their goalie. I know that's tough to throw it all the way down the field, but Braintree needs to start doing a better job connecting passes here. If Braintree made a couple more plays here. There could be a couple goals on the board, maybe down just three. As the Rockets haven't scored in a little while. 9-10 to go in this second quarter. As the defense packs in here for Braintree. Really clogging up the middle of the field. As the ball was on the ground for a moment. 
So stick work there for Braintree. Trying to rake it free. Long stretches of offense. Good time of possession for the visiting Needham Rockets. 5-0 advantage, 8.40 to go here in the first half. Pass in front and Braintree with some good contact. Able to slow that rush and then the pass is thrown out of bounds. There was some pressure on the Braintree goalie that caused the pass to go out of bounds a little high. So it's been some good and some bad here in this second quarter. Hasn't resulted in any goals against, but it has put the Braintree offense just standing around on the other side of the field. As the shot taken, that one may have caught some iron, and then the Braintree defense able to collect it. As the pass goes back to Gaffney, and the pass going out to his defense. Long pass, and that doesn't connect. Braintree just cannot continue to string together the passes to work it up the field. As walking in, contested, and a big save by Gaffney, who's really been the backbone here for Braintree as the shot also does not stay in. As the ball is worked up the field, Braintree wants a timeout, and then the stick knocked it out of his hand, but a timeout is called by Braintree well before all that took place. 7-12 on the clock, Braintree will have possession as we'll have a break in the action. 5-0 is still the score. It was after one. It's still here with 7-10 to go here in the first half, and a timeout, Braintree will be right back. Zooming as Braintree upended at midfield. Need them getting a call to go their way in a situation that certainly looked like it should have been a Braintree ball. Looked like the player was tripped. 6.35 to go here in the first half. Needham with a 5-0 lead and the ball. The pass, the shot, and it goes wide. Clock still moving. Gaffney being very good here in this second quarter. Has had a couple of important stops to keep it a 5-0 game. As the Rockets continue to rotate around the perimeter. They work it up top around the 20-yard line and the shot taken and again it is stopped. As the Braintree pass does not connect, and right now Braintree just having all sorts of trouble with their passing game. As the shot taken, and this one beats Gaffney. There's only so many times he can stop the ball. Needham clearly buckling in on the Braintree players because there's nobody open, or at least nobody that has gotten open has been able to receive the pass. With 5.28 to go here in the first half, Brantry now down 6 0. First goal here of the second quarter. And a face off. Brantry would love to win one of these. As the player was pushed, and Brantry will get the ball. So finally, something goes Brantry's way here in this first half. And now it is worked onto the offensive side of the field and then very quickly knocked right out of the stick. Pass towards the midfield mark was not handled cleanly by Needham, but now it is worked over midfield. And the Braintree defense will be forced to play again. A 
couple of quick passes, the shot, and it beats Gaffney low. It's 439 to go in this first half. Another strike on the board. And a 7-0 lead. the draw. Needham wins this one cleanly. I haven't looked fully at the Braintree schedule, but this has got to be one of their toughest games on the schedule. Obviously never like to see a lopsided game, but Needham does this to a lot of teams. Pass back behind the goal. Gaffney trying to read that one. Did get a stick on it as Rancher was able to force the ball away. As the pass this time is connected with, as Dionisio now will work it towards the midfield mark. As the pass does connect finally onto the offensive side of the field into the stick of Luke Pacillo. Three and a half remaining here in quarter two. Seven nothing score in favor of Needham. Back up top for Paisant. As Paisant throws that one away. And both sides battling for the ball. And a hold is gonna go on Needham. Ball back behind the goal now. That's French who trying to work it towards the top, set up their offense. Two forty-five left till halftime. It's French trying to get on the scoreboard, being shut out right now. Pachillo taking a couple of sticks. Now spinning back with the ball is Tabaku. Tabaku makes the move and steps inside the crease and that will give away possession. Well, actually, maybe not. It's gonna be a penalty on Anita. Must have been before that. French will be a player up, trying to get the first goal. Shot and a save is made as that one goes a mile high up in the air and then goes out of bounds, but Branch will keep the ball. One fifty left, as Branch is a player up, but haven't really been able to get a good offensive chance. French has it back behind the net, and the pass was deflected away and now held by the goalie. As we are back at full strength, and Braintree unable to capitalize on the man advantage. As Nina with the quick pass, and the shot was deflected wide by Gaffney. Final 110. Braintree has not scored yet. Needham with five in the first, two so far here in the second quarter. The 
rain held off for this game, which is certainly nice, but the wind has picked up. A little chilly out here as the shot goes wide. Typical early April weather. Final 35 seconds as Needham with the ball. Looking for one more strike here before the halftime whistle. As Brancher really bogging in there with four players inside and the shot goes wide. Goal is scored here with 10 seconds. That probably will be the final goal we'll see here in this first half, but never know. All eight of the goals scored by Needham. And with 8.9 on the clock. If Needham does win this face off, they're gonna try and rush it right down the field. As Braintree's doing a good job here, just tying them up. And they're not gonna have time really for anything towards the goal as they'll just work it towards the sideline. And that'll do it here for the first half. So Braintree down eight nothing after two quarters of play. And at the halftime break, a lot to talk about for Braintree. You got some good play and goal for portions of that first half, but the offense really never got a chance to get going Brentry's got to do a much better job on the draws if they want to have any chance at scoring a couple goals in this game because they haven't really had the time of possession to do so. So that'll do it here for the first half. We'll be back for second half action and the start of the third quarter right after this. Hello and welcome back to Alumni Stadium. Mike Wasser bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV as we are about to start this third quarter. And a face off here in midfield. Eight nothing score. Yeah, Braintree comes away with the ball. There's a nice start here to this third quarter. Cody really doing a nice job as he was diving back for that ball. He's being triple teamed right now. He's got to get the ball away. And now Braintree is able to make a play, but then I believe Braintree ended up being with too many men on that side of the field. With 11 and a half remaining here in the third quarter, Needham will get the ball. So a nice face off to start this third quarter, but obviously that was short lived. Long way to go, but you just got to start to find some offense in a hurry. Shot taken, and this one skips up and over the goal. Not a ton of changes for Braintree here to start this third quarter. Shot taken and just wide of the post. Behind the goal. Quick 
Quick passing, the shot, and a save is made. And now the ball out of bounds will be Braintree's possession. So just under 10 minutes to go here in this third quarter. And Braintree with the ball. Almost misplayed along the sideline as Branchard gives it away. Needham taking it right at the Branchard defense, circling behind the net. Good passing, and that one finds its way through for a ninth goal. Fifteen left here in the third quarter of the face-off. Another nice job on the face-off as Cody came away with the ball. It's won the last two draws. And now Branchy hoping for the first goal. Uh, a couple of quick passes and the shot just spun wide. Nice little backhanded feed towards the net. Shot going wide by Powers. Looking for the strike there, but just wide. Eight thirty to go here in the third quarter. Nine nothing the score. As Needham looking for a ten goal margin. Behind the net now with 7.50 to go here in the third. Set play here for the Rockets as Branchy with a nice hit there by Brooks. As the pass goes all the way back towards midfield, picked up by Needham. As the shot well over the cage. Quickly moved around the perimeter again. So Needham has had the ball for the last minute and change. And that one ricochets here to the near side. And it goes out of bounds. A rare mistake made here by Needham in this game. Apparently, it's not a giveaway. Looked like it sure was a turnover, but it's just going to be possession. So six and a half left here in the third quarter. Long pass down the field, and nobody's going to get there for Braintree. And 
now the ball given away by Needham. So both sides with turnovers. With 6.13 left in the third quarter. 9-0 the score. A lot of room on the other side for Braintree, but not looking in that direction. Taking some contact is Civitolo. Being forced towards the boundary. As that one's knocked away, now back behind the cage, Braintree with it. Looking at the side of the goal, this one may have caught iron and then knocked towards the goal, but knocked wide. Braintree's had a couple of near misses in this third quarter. As the ball up the field is going to be intercepted by Braintree's Dionisio. Nice pass, the shot, and a save is made on the attempt from Pachillo. 520 remaining here in this third quarter. Branch are really starting to ratchet up the number of shots, but still have not found the back of the net. 40 serves, 40 serves, 40 Delta serves. Branch are looking for a clear shot, and that pass doesn't work. Careless pass by Tabaku. As Needham brings it over midfield, looking for more offense. 4.45 left in the third with a 9-0 game, now a 10-0 game on the score in front. Face off. Ranch has been much better here in this third quarter. As play continues. And then a push. So whatever Branch you worked on at halftime has certainly helped on the face off circle. So Branch has won the last three, obviously, with the aid of that time with a push. As Rancher brings it right towards goal, the shot taken, and another save is made. So Branch is really starting to pepper their shots, but Still have not found a goal. Pass that was behind the player. Still caught. Shot taken goes wide. Three and a half remaining here in this third quarter. As the pick is set, trying to create some space and a save made by Gaffney. As Rancher works it up the field, trying to go with the short pass and that didn't connect with Dionisio. As the pass off the mark for Morehand. Three minutes remaining here in the third as the ball is popped free. Pass in front and the shot goes just wide. There's some space in front of that net. Thank you. 
Pass in front of the goal and still loose. As now a player down and shaken up. Unnecessary roughness on Braintree. On the hit by Morahan. And in a 10 0 game, Braintree letting a little frustration out. Six on five here for Needham with two minutes to go here in the third quarter in a 10 nothing game. Shot taken and that one well wide. Physical play continuing to pick up. As the shot is stopped. Long pass down the field. It's Braintree with still a player in the box. And this shot is saved by Gaffney, who was able to keep it out with his leg. Out in front, the goalie is out of the goal. And no shot taken now, it's towards the sideline here in the final 40 seconds. Kept in by Needham, the penalty is over. Back to full strength, final half minute. Renchu with just four goals in the opening win and still have not scored here in this one. And now an 11-0 lead following the latest goal. Twenty seconds left. Here in this third quarter, Needham with a chance to score another one. Overrun though, and Braintree picks it up here in the final ten seconds, firing it down the field, looking to connect with one of their attackers. And Braintree gets possession and now trying to shoot it, but will not get a shot off. As the third quarter comes to a close. And it's been all Needham here in this one. After three quarters of play, 11-0 is the score. We're back for the fourth quarter right after this. Welcome back here to Alumni Stadium, start of the fourth quarter. Mike Wasser bringing the coverage here on VCAM TV. Thanks for watching our live stream broadcast of the Bay State Conference matchup between Braintree and Needham. As the Rockets had possession for a moment, 
And Braintree is going for the ball. As both sides scrambling for the ball. With 11 and a half remaining here in this fourth quarter, Needham will have the ball up by 11. One more goal, I believe the clock will continuously run up by 12. Shot taken, and that one under the bar and in. A 12 0 game. Legal formation on the face off against Braintree. to go in this game. And the shot goes in. Low. Face off, and this one controlled by Needham. As the clock will move the rest of the way, until unless Branch can keep it under 12, but the way this game is going doesn't seem to be the case. Branch still has not found the back of the net. Their best opportunities came in the third quarter. Legal screen on Needham, giving Branch possession back. The ball is knocked free, and Needham picks it up and working it right towards the goal, a three on two up the field. And that one shot a mile wide. Right now with the ball in the crease. Dangerous pass as both sides battle for the ball. Right through with a couple of big hits here on the possession. front of the cage, no shot taken. Eight minutes left in the game. 13-0 is the score. Needham had five goals early in that first quarter. Slowing has, or the offense has slowed down a little bit since then, that clip. But Branch right now just hoping to at least score one in this game to break the shutout. Thread the pass in front, and they do. Finding the strike. 
about five yards out. Clock on the move, 6.50 left. Probably won't see too many more face-offs. Neither side's gonna be any sort of rush moving forward with this game, obviously well decided. 14-0 game. Braintree will work it up the field. And ducking back with it. Pass very tough to handle. That was a skipping pass. As both sides battle for the ball and Braintree gonna be given a push there. Forty-five remaining. It's Branchery going right at the goalie. Right back behind the Branchery goal. Has the shot released and wide. Just over five minutes left in the game. Frankie here at home will suffer their first defeat. Another shot, and that one just squeaks in. Four and a half left. Now 15 nothing. Tough to stay focused in a game like this with the score lopsided, but Rancher trying to play down to the final few minutes. Needham not showing any signs of giving up offensively. They have rotated a lot of players in, but still attacking the goal and a big hit out in front. And those are the kind of plays that will happen when you try to run the score up. Rancher's not gonna be happy with that. And I don't blame Rancher for making that kind of contact. But Needham's got to expect it. He wanted to do that. Especially when a team gets frustrated down this type of score, you're going to let your cool go a little bit. That's Branchy with the backhanded feed over midfield. And with 3.20 left, a timeout taken and a 15 0 game. So we'll take a break in the action, bring you back the remaining 319 on the clock. Play resuming. Right you with possession. Drawing up a play here, hoping for a goal. Here late. Trying to break the shutout. Pass in front, the shot a save, and a second as well. And a third is stopped. Three consecutive stops right in front of the net.
Two and a half left. Needham now working it around the outside. And the ball is left free, picked up by the Brantry goalie Gaffney as he makes the pass right in front. As Rancher scampers over midfield. Some contact up around the face. As the shot taken, and he just missed on a high shot. A slash here late with 145 left. On the release by Paisant. Just missed on the last shot. Rancher will be a man up just about the rest of the game. Trying to get one here late. Rancher works it around the back of the net and then given away as the goalie picks it up. minute left. And Frencher's still a player up, but need the ball back. I just need him obviously content to just run the clock. Final half minute. The penalty has now ended. And one more goal here late. Final seconds dwindling off the clock. No reason for another faceoff. And the final score will be 16 to nothing as Needham with the win. And this one was never really close from the start. It was a 5 0 score after one. And Wrencher just wasn't able to get much offense going until the third quarter where they got some shots. But Needham's goalies, tandem here today, I believe they made a swap in the fourth quarter. Able to get a shutout here today. And Braintree again with a win in the first game of the season, 4-2 over Pembroke. But here today, much tougher contest. And obviously losing this one big, 16 to nothing. So that'll conclude our live stream broadcast. Thanks for watching here on BKM TV. On behalf of our camera person, Christine Patterson, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.